What's happening everyone? Welcome back. Uh, hello if you're joining for the first time. Today I'm going to be doing a drum and bass beat. It's the first drum and bass beat that I'll have ever made. So hopefully it works out alright. I've never really wanted to go outside of like a trap genre as of yet. But I do want to broaden the horizon a little bit. I've been listening to a few drum and bass songs in the past over the past few days. Um, there is one that I really like which is like Chasing Status. It's kind of more mainstream drum and bass. But it's got a nice like chord sequence to it. Um, it's chasing status when it all goes wrong. So I'm going to have a little look at that as a reference. And then we'll go into making my own. And trying to put my own spin on it and make it sound decent. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go. So first I'm going to have a quick look at the song by Chasing Status, When It All Goes Wrong, just to give myself a good little basis to work off. By the way, if you haven't already, subscribe, turn the notifications on, it'll be a really big help. I do want to try and get to 100 subscribers by um, the end of the month. If anyone wants to ask us any questions, feel free to DM us on Instagram, at Prob by Silver, um, and if you've got any advice for us as well messages I'll leave a comment because I need as much advice as I can get so I'm gonna have a quick listen and I'm not gonna watch the whole thing around because I'll get copyrighted but I'll play little snippets of it yeah so it's Cody at the beginning and then it starts to build up with some synths and then the drums start coming in So I, I want to kind of get the same vibe because it's a you can pop your head to it and it, uh, it sounds really nice. Right, so we'll whip up Ultra Beat and then I'll go into Finder, go into here. I want a punchy drum. I like the first one, you know. Drag that in. Right, so I think I've got the basis for all my drums now. Um, I'm gonna figure out like a, a little sequence and a pattern, and then play them all through. Like this bit will be for the main, like for when it drops, um, and then you can obviously take bits and bits and bobs out when it's in a verse or a or a build up. We're gonna have a completely different drum sequence for the build up. But yeah, I'm gonna start with the hi hats, and then I'll go on to the the snare and the kick afterwards. What I had in mind was I was gonna take out every second hi-hat and then with the other hi-hats fill every second hi-hat in so it kind of creates a little bit of a a different sound to what you would normally hear rather than just like one constant hi-hat sound Drum and bass doesn't have to take your ears out like. So, I've got a decent little drum pattern there. I'm gonna put some chords in now and see how it all, how it all comes together. Um, I've got a, I've got a few chords in mind. That's a cool little wobble effect. I quite like that. I think I'm gonna duplicate that one more time and I'm gonna possibly add a guitar in there. So 
sounds really good. I, what I want to do is just take this guitar down an octave. But then take the low notes out. So I've basically got the full beat done, but now it's just like structuring it. I do need to add a little bit of synth and low end in there as well. So I haven't got the beat done, what am I talking about? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a synth for the, like the chorus. So it's not just the same all the way through. Chili for tea with rice. Is it spicy chili? Well, I can take some out and do it with it. Do you want a little bit of chili on or no chili at all? Well, a little bit, I don't or mind. Or do you want us to make yours into a spaghetti bolognese? Oh. build up maybe just a couple more little bits here and there but I think for the majority I'm done um, I'm gonna arrange it and then we'll have a listen and see how it see how it's panned out when it's fully laid out but yeah um, right let's have a look I think this is all right actually so that's the beat done we've got a little bit of build up in there I've added some RC20 we've got crash in there as well just sort of really hits a little bit harder when it comes into the, the drop um, but yeah let's have a listen and, and tell us what you think That sounds too bad the only thing i really want to improve on is how the the crash hits i just think it sounds a little bit amateurish but with a bit more time i'll probably do that um but yeah guys thanks for watching the video um if you liked it leave a like subscribe i want to get to 100 subs before the end of the month if possible um and yeah i mean if if you've got any advice to give us dm us comment um dm me on instagram at prop by silver but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on sunday